I've been asked how I do the layouts design composition on my paper and I like to use whenever possible the Fibonacci sequences and to get those laid out on my paper I use this Fibonacci golden ruler um, that I purchased on Etsy. I'll put those uh, that information um, in the comment section. So this paint, this paper surface is eight by sixteen. So figuring out the eight inches is very easy. The ruler has regular uh, tw uh, twelve inch increments at the top, and the Fibonacci equivalents on the bottom. So since this is eight inches. I just look at the bottom and find my eight and make a mark, first of all. So that is right here, eight. Now I'll put it a little bit darker. Now I measured it from this side to the eight. So I have to do the same thing from the other side so that I can get lines all the way across. And the easiest way to do that is just to move this eight to the edge of the paper, right here, and make my second mark here. Do that same sequence on the other side of the paper, and then you can draw your lines going all the way across. So that would be one of the um, format lines for you. Now to do it in when the dimension of the paper is a little bit more than the ruler, uh, it, it's a little tricky but quite easy to do. Since this is 16 inches, 8 is um, half of the 16, so I'll just use the 8 twice. I come over here, putting the edge of the bottom of the ruler down, and just make a little uh, a, a little dot, because that's not a drawing line, it's just a marker. So from here to here, and then I'm gonna move the end of the ruler to that little marker. Come over here, and using my eight, that will be the drawing line. Just like on the other side, we'll do this again for the 16. Since I've marked it from here to here to get one line, I need the other line to um, make my drawing. So I'll move the eight to the edge of the paper and just look, make a little dot as a placeholder slide the ruler over and put the eight this time on that placeholder and then come over to the beginning the zero and that will be my line so i've already and do it for this side as well so that you'll have a way to draw those lines so i've already drawn this line and this line and anything that I place in this area this area where the lines cross that that will or should be the center of interest or the very close to the center of interest um, I make my lines with a pastel pencil very lightly across so that I'll be able to apply the pastel on top of it later and hide those lines. But they're very informative throughout the drawing. As a little extra tip, um, another way that you can do that, once you have this first reference line, you can use the top of the ruler, which is regular measurements, lay it on zero, and I find that my line comes out at six inches 
plus one little tick mark, which is one eighth. Um, and then come over to this side and put that six and one, and again, that's the line. So once you have one measurement, then you can jockey it and get the other sides. Same thing with your other ear, your vertical format. It's a wonderful ruler and a handy tool. You can use this instead of going to the um, thirds or fourths um, and find that historically in well-received museum paintings, the Fibonacci sequence was used frequently. Uh, the numbers, incidentally, is that one inch to 1.618 inch. Another way, it's a special tip that you can get this, is um, if you have the paper 16 inches on my iPhone, I can multiply that 16 inches by 0.618 and that will give me the measurement to mark off, which would be equal to that. It's a little bit more difficult to do because uh, in this case, I think it came out to 9.8888. And you know, where do I find 888 in this one inch increment? Um, 